Hey guys, it's Jeff from Lost in Vegetation. So today I thought I would show you guys this new melon that I found because I've never seen it or heard of it before. And I was at the grocery store the other day and I saw it in the organic section. That's usually where I shop for most of my produce. So I just figured that I would pick it up and kind of give it a, like a taste test for you guys. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this melon before. It's called a Gallia or Gallia melon. And I haven't even done any research on it yet, so I'm going to try it first, and then I'll tell you guys more about it. So let's go look at it. So here is the melon in question. It is a Gallia melon. There it is. A Gallia melon. It's organic, and it's a product of Mexico. And it's this yellow color. Um, there were some other ones that were like a greenish color, so I'm assuming that when it is yellow it is ripe because it has a very fruity smell to it and it's yellow, so yeah, that's usually a good indicator that it's ripe and it kind of has an, a little bit of a give to it. So it has like this like kind of like webbing, kind of like a honeydew if you're familiar with those. So yeah, let's cut this baby open. Uh. Ooh, it's juicy. So this is what the inside looks like. Kind of just looks like a honeydew on the inside, but it has these seeds in them. So it looks a little bit different, but very similar. And it kind of smells... It smells like a honeydew too. So I'm kind of guessing that it's probably just going to taste like a honeydew, but let's cut this up and then I'll give it a shot. Get all the seeds out first. It's very juicy. I'm doing a terrible job at cutting this up. Okay, let's try this. So I have the melon, so let's give this a taste. It just smells like a honeydew, but let's find out. Okay, so it pretty much just tastes like a honeydew to me. Um, it might have, have like a slightly different flavor to it, but it pretty much just tastes like honeydew. Um, yeah, it just tastes like honeydew. So let's go look and see what the internet says about this fruit. Okay, so this is what the internet's telling me about this melon. It says it's a hybrid melon originating from a cross between a green flesh melon and a netted rind melon. So I'm assuming that's like a cantaloupe and a honeydew. Um, the average weight is one kilogram. They have a round shape, obviously. Um, a dense netting of rough lines on the skin and become yellow at full maturity. That's what I assumed. Um, they're sweet and aromatic with a special aroma and flavor, and ripeness is measured not by softness at the stem, but by color and fragrance. So if they're yellow and they have a nice sweet smell to them, that's pretty much a good indicator that they're ripe and ready to eat. Um, and you kind of just treat them like other melons. Um, it also says they're not difficult to grow, and they're now grown in Brazil, Guatemala, Portugal, Spain, Morocco, southern U.S. regions, Costa Rica, Panama, Honduras, Greek, Turkey, Israel, and Egypt, and maybe some other places as well. So, have you guys ever tried a Gallia melon before, or maybe something similar to it? Let me know in the comment section below. Um, and if you guys would like me to try any other fruits or just any vegan foods in general, leave your comments for those down there in the comment section below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out. 
And don't forget to subscribe here at Lost in Vegetation to keep up with me, Jeff, and all my vegan content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.